For over 30 years, the two clubs in the parish of Baltinglass have worked in harmony. Grange Con and Stratford, the other two villages in the parish, play their juveniles with Baltinglass under the title St. Joseph's. But somewhere along the way, that title was dropped. As a result of perhaps misunderstandings and in some instances a little carelessness, a parish is now split. It's a saga that now involves affiliations, directives, rules, subsections of rules, objections and counter-objections. It involves acrimony and unhappiness. Oh, it's very difficult, Mark, to be, think to be thinking about this during the, my exams. Like, it's, it's, all in, it's all in my head, like. Some weeks back, they were told, sorry, lads, the line has been drawn in our parish. You have to pack your bags and go play with Stratford. I'm 13 now, and I've been up. I was seven when he started playing football at Bonglass, and, like, I don't want to change now. He won't go to Stratford anyway. And if he can't stay here, he won't go anywhere. He just want to play for Bonglass. It was always a peaceful place. Football was played with passion for the love of the game and the pride of the place. The town of Baltinglass is one of the largest in Wicklow, located here in the west of the county. The parish of Baltinglass spreads northwestwards to include the village of Grange Con and northeastwards to Stratford. For years, the juvenile players from the outlying areas of the parish played football with Baltinglass before the parish used the name St. Joseph's for minor and under-21 championships. After that, the players played junior and senior, either with Stratford or Baltinglass. Everything was fine until this time last year. It was around then that Baltinglass decided to send two members of their club to the local schools with this registration form. At the bottom of the form was a question, a query that irritated the Stratford club. And almost immediately, Jim Bollard, chairman of the Stratford club, wrote to the Wicklow County Board, stating, we have become aware in recent days that the Baltinglass underage teams are registered as Baltinglass and not as we understood St. Joseph's. If this is the case, we are very concerned that Baltinglass can claim Stratford players as their own after they finish their underage football. According to Baltinglass, the form used was for an internal club survey and not for registration. Every year, clubs in County Wicklow used this Born and Oak application, which prevented problems like this developing. Seamus Kelly has been involved in Baltinglass for over 20 years and claims they never used the name St. Joseph's at underage level. We became aware when uh, Stratford GA Club decided to go on their own and affiliate a, a juvenile club. Were you surprised the... that they did so? I was really because we had met them previous, short while previous to that and they had, uh, they wanted to enter a, a team in a league in their own in West Wicklow, which we had no problem with. And uh, they told us that they would come back to us and tell us uh, of the situation and how they felt about it after our meeting. And uh, first we knew of it then was at a West Juvenile Board in January of this year, where they had decided to, to go on their own. But we were surprised, yeah, and shocked, I would say. By February, Stratford had decided to enter their own juvenile teams. The club supplied the county board with 90 or more names of players eligible to play for them. But some of these were youngsters of 13 or 14 years of age who had played with Baltinglass since they were eight or nine. Baltinglass failed to accept a decision of management and the county board in January of this year to affiliate under the group name of St. Joseph's at under 12, 14 and 16. They already had affiliated uh, for a minor and under 21 under the name of St. Joseph's. So we had a problem. They would say that they registered under the name Baltinglass because Stratford had already initiated and uh, given the signal that they were going to uh, put a juvenile team into the competitions. Uh, Baltinglass had af have affiliated under the name of St. Joseph's at minor and under 21 since the early 60s. In fact, they also affiliated at 12, 14 and 16 under the heading of St. Joseph's since the early 60s, having won an under 14 uh, Wicklow title in 1966. Sometime during the 80s, they terminated the name St. Joseph's and returned to Baltinglass um, as a result uh, of alleged poaching in the region Stratford were forced 
to affiliate under the heading of Stratford to uh, protect their own club and increase awareness to the GA. There was no such thing as poaching Stratford players. Bondas Club only catered for uh, the juveniles in the area. So any time that we went to Stratford or to, to see about players, it was for the Bondas Club, the juvenile club. Worse was to follow. In April this year, the management committee of the county board decided to draw a line through the parish. Anyone below the line could play for Bolton Glass. Anyone above for Stratford. The reaction was unbelievable. And I, say, and I would probably say the reaction was astounding maybe from both sides of the parish. Because you're dealing with a country parish here, uh, which is three churches, Bolton Glass, Stratford and Grange Con, governed by the one parish priest and a curate. Uh, always got on very well together. Ordinary people could see major problems with this line because it was drawn through town lands, it was drawn through people's farms, it, it had major consequences. Maybe not today, but maybe in 10 years' time, maybe people's children's children could, could create a problem. Under Rule 56G, we have the power to control all matters and affairs of our association. Do you think it was fair to draw a line as such a line in sand to solve the problem? Well, we believe we must always protect the interest of the small club. If we don't draw up a catchment area for Stratford, what is the future of the Stratford club? The Stratford club who recently purchased their own ground and have plans to build their dressing rooms. If we allow the movement of players from their dedicated area, what future have they got? Anthony Nolan is a Wicklow minor footballer. This week he began his leaving certificate examinations. He is outside the line, but won't play for Stratford. Well, it's very difficult, Mark, to be, think to be thinking about this during the, my exams. Like it's, it's, all in, it's all in my head, like. So it's the only thing I can think about, really. It's very hard to be studying, like, here. And does it bother you in, in the sense that you know when your exams are over that this dilemma is still going to be there. Yeah. Yes, it was. Um, like I'll have, I'll have no football whatsoever after this. Only the weekly winners are going so well at the moment. I have no football. Objections and counter objections have been pursued by both sides. Last Friday, Central Council said that the line must stay. We came home Saturday evening, and we're told the line was back again. That Central Council overturned Leinster Council. So, well, he just broke down. That's the honest truth. And he can't see the point in why he can go play one time and then be told he can't play again with the club he's been always with. I came home for a match and I was crying. And it really upset me. And then I stopped after a while. But it's really hurt me. GA is an amateur sport to be enjoyed by all, and especially by juveniles. And as Mr McDonough said in a TV interview some time back, I mean, he's there to promote juvenile football. So hopefully maybe he'll see our, our story at this stage and intervene or see some sense that can be made out of it. We just want to play for bike, yes. And what about all your friends? Do they feel the same way? Yes, they feel the same. Does it, does it worry you, Gary? Yeah. It worries me a lot. He won't go to Stratford anyway. And if he can't stay here, he won't go anywhere. He'll probably have to play soccer. I feel very bad about it because I've been here for the last seven years and I want to stay. And all the Grange Con lads want to stay as well. The people of Bolton Glass Parish have brought tremendous honour and glory, not just to themselves, but to all of Wicklow. Grange Con and Stratford played a prominent part in Bolton Glass's All Ireland glory seven years ago. And that's a great pass right inside to Con Murphy. Oh, yes! A brilliant goal! A goal worthy of an All Ireland Cup final. And Con Murphy from Bolton Glass has hit it into the back of the Clonagale net. Can common sense now prevail? And can you lead that common sense as chairman of the county board? So that players, young players who have been crying on this program, they don't want to play with anybody else except Bolton Glass, can continue with the club that they started off with? I will certainly. I am working behind the scenes at the moment in order to find a resolution to this problem. And how hopeful are you that there will be a resolution? Well, let's say I would be optimistic. 
And we all hope that negotiations behind the scenes can come to a happy conclusion that will allow both clubs to grow and prosper and that the young players in the parish of Baltinglass will be allowed to play football with the club that they want to play with. We did invite Stratford GA Club to participate in that report, but they declined our invitation. So finally today, let's take a look at...